Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another video. This video is completely different from the ones we have done so far. Here we will be analyzing Federico Valverde's style of play, his role at the club and his strengths. Let's start with Valverde's position and his role at the club. He plays as the right central midfielder in the three-man midfield of Real Madrid. He has got a huge work rate both offensively and defensively and works out throughout the course of the game. If we focus on his attacking duties, firstly we have to discuss about Real's system while attacking. With Hazard injured, Isco generally plays as the left wing and we have chosen Rodrigo over Bale in the right wing position, but it doesn't really change much with Bale as well. Now, even though Isco starts as the left wing, he is generally given a free role and cuts inside. As this happens, Benzema often pushes a little towards the left and Rodrigo in turn moves inside and acts as the inside forward. When this happens, Valverde moves wide and along with Carvajal, he controls the right hand side of the pitch. Here is an example. Isco central, Benzema shifted a little towards the left, Rodrigo cutting inside and Valverde down the right hand side of the pitch. In this Real Madrid system, the fullbacks move high up the pitch and Valverde with the support of Carvajal does create a lot of problems down the right hand side of the pitch. As Carvajal moves up, sometimes he drags the attention of the opposition fullback who is forced to close down the gaps. As this happens, Valverde generally looks to exploit the half spaces between the centre back and the fullback. Here is an example from the game against PSG in the Champions League. Here we find Carvajal occupying the opposition fullback and Valverde exploiting the space between the left back and the centre back. He asks for the ball in space, eventually gets it and cuts it inside for his goal, which finally results in a goal for Benzema. Here again, Carvajal occupies the wide midfielder and Valverde exploits the space between the centre back and the fullback. Sometimes things also work the other way round and Valverde moves wide while Carvajal moves inside and acts as the inverted fullback. Here is an example. Valverde is shifted a little towards the right and Carvajal moves inside and occupies the central position. Valverde loves to move forward with the ball and while attacking, he often looks to make great runs in the box to find space behind the line. Generally, players like Benzema and either one of Rodrigo or Bale stay up with the defensive line to grab the attention of the defenders, while Valverde comes in late and uses all the space left behind to his advantage. He has a good shooting ability and loves to have a go from outside the box. Here is an example from the Eibar game. The defense moves inside with the forwards and Valverde is allowed a lot of space outside the box. This eventually results to a goal, his very first in the Liga this season. Valverde is also a very good passer of the ball and often drops deep during the build-up phase. He is pretty good with the ball at his feet and is always aware of his surroundings. This makes him very hard to press. Here is an example. Valverde drops deep to get the ball and being aware of his surroundings, he easily bypasses his man with his ball control and pace. Moreover, these runs often break the opposition's defensive and midfield lines and this allows the forward to grab more space as the defenders are now focused on him. Here is an example from the e -ball game. Valverde starts his run very deep and using his space, he just keeps going. This eventually breaks the midfield line of Eibar and ultimately creates a lot of space for the other players occupying the wider areas. Valverde is also a very good passer of the ball and as we have said before, he often drops deep in the build-up phase or moves to the ball side to create a numerical advantage in that area of the pitch. If that part of the pitch is overcrowded with the opposition players, he always looks to switch play and exploit the space left behind on the other flank. Here is an example. Valverde goes ball side, receives the ball and immediately switches play to the opposite flank for Carvajal to exploit the space on the right flank. Moreover, moving deep in midfield often gives him more time and space with the ball to pick out his right man more easily. Here we see Valverde in a deeper position away from the opponent's press and he takes his time and goes for an accurate long pass. Here again, no press from the opposition and Valverde looks for the run of the player behind the defensive line on the far side of the pitch and eventually finds his man in a perfect position. I think the three aspects of his game, the pace, the passing ability along with an excellent vision makes him a very great player while attacking. He often initiates counter attacks and uses his pace to evade the initial counter press of the opposition midfielder and always looks to pass the ball to his forward behind the defensive line. Valverde releases the ball near the half field line and immediately looks to pass it behind Barca's high defensive line. Here again, he looks for the runs of his forward behind the defensive line and finds his man in a perfect position. Valverde is also very good while pressing and loves to regain position for his team higher defense. He 
generally looks to praise them from their blind side as it leaves them unaware of the man behind them. Here is an example. While Bowser presses his man from the blind side, the player has no idea where he came from and eventually loses possession. He has done this a lot of times this season and some of them have even resulted in a few goals. Here is another example. While Bowser loses possession of the ball initially but still keeps pressing his man. The rebound hits him and ultimately leaves Hazard in a 1v1 situation from where he eventually scores. Valverde is also very good with his tackles. He can do this all over the pitch and it really saves Real from possible counter attacks or even goals. He also makes several tackles high up the pitch and this basically slows down the build up phase of the opposition. Here is an example from the PSG team. Valverde sees where the pass is going and makes a challenge. Here is another example from this season's club. Messi looks to break away with the ball, but Valverde times his challenge perfectly and regains position for his team. These tackles are extremely crucial as Real often move forward with a lot of players and that leaves them vulnerable during counter attacks. Now, we would also love to add something about his tackle to Murata in the Super Cup final. To be very honest, it was a very harsh tackle, but as said by Simeone after the game, he did what he had to do. Simeone even praised him and said that this tackle finally won them the game. Valverde can also make such crucial tackles inside the box and generally he times them perfectly. His presence in midfield is a great boost for the defenders as well and his working rate all over the pitch is extremely useful for the whole team. The Uruguay international is just 21 years old and currently he is one of the most exciting prospects in Europe. However, he has still got a lot of points he needs to improve on. With proper guidance from Zidane, I am sure this man still has a long way to go. So, this was basically our first player analysis video and if you do like this one and want us to do more of these, please do give us a feedback and even go on to suggest a few days. The regular match reviews and tactical analysis of the games will also be coming up, so don't forget to stay tuned to the channel.